I was saying this is really important work. So I quit a good job in banking to come and find Callan because I really believe in this program and its ability to change people's lives. So excited to see Michael as well today. No, yeah, same here. Super okay, excited, no. Michael. Welcome, uh, brother. We were chatting now to Audrey, and uh, yeah, firstly, I want to actually uh, congratulate you on being uh, a Rise winner. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think for myself and everybody else that's watching this IG live, you know, we want to understand like what made you apply to Rise, and probably before that as well, we want to know. Uh, how old you are and where you are in the world at the moment. Um, okay, so th thank you for the welcome. I appreciate it. Uh, I am 18, so I just just made it, like just just made the cut for the age. Um, so I'm 18 now. I was 17 when I applied. Um, and I'm from Cape Town, South Africa. I'm currently in Cape Town also now. Um, and I think what really, really drew me to the RICE Challenge, the whole RICE program, was the global community. I think that was like the biggest thing was being able to meet people from different parts of the world. That was the, the big thing that drew me. And the second thing was the fact that uh, you didn't have to write essays. It was video submissions. So that for me was pretty cool. Um, and also learning through the application. It's the first application process where you're not just saying what you're doing in the past, but you're actually growing through the different stages through the application, application process. And I think that's what really, really drew me to RISE. Uh, that's, yeah. that's, that's incredible. I think, yeah, you know, even what you mentioned, you know, um, it's, it's, it's quite amazing that you've got an opportunity to have access to a, a global network, you know, of resources. And I think as a young person, it's something that you, you know, you want to have, you know, as you embark on your journey. So well done for taking the bold step. And I think, you know, um, maybe with your RISE project that you chose, could you elaborate and tell us exactly what that was? Um, okay, so uh, my RISE project was very around um, my personal background, my life story of growing up in a community where, um, you know, in a low income community where you gripped with this gangsterism, this crime, this drugs, and there's a lot of things holding people back. And so there's a lot of unemployment and this poverty. And that is very, very has very negative effects on child development and has very negative effects on, um, you know, unemployment also. So my project was around um, educating, empowering and equipping young people to pursue entrepreneurship and to use human centered design thinking to create solutions in the community so that they can empower themselves and empower um, others in uh, their community. So uh, my project was, you know, working with young people through workshops, through online education was to help them into this life of entrepreneurship and be change makers in their various spaces, no matter where they come from or their um, circumstances or their background. Well done, uh, Michael. I think, I think entrepreneurship is, you know, the answer to so many of the problems we face, you know, in our communities and society, you know, to, to unemployment, to the, you know, the vast socioeconomic dis disparities, that are ever present. So uh, well done for taking the bold step, you know, as a young man. Must take this chance seriously uh, because my time is not with the NBA, um, uh, Africa, that wasn't like, it, there wasn't any. So it just shows that you, this is a massive opportunity and to see young people like yourselves taking that bold step, you know, it just kind of sets the tone and, and inspires everybody out there. And in terms of the benefits um, as a RISE winner, you know, uh, what would you want them to help you accomplish in, in, your, in your future? Um, okay, so like I, I thought about this also very well. So I think definitely something that I do want, how I want to make use of the benefits is obviously to use the um, opportunity to study because now I, I, I get to study at 
any university that I want to because I have now the funding. So there's not so much stress on my parents. Because like I said, I come from a low income community. So for me to have this opportunity is just simply incredible to be able to go to a university where I can get a top quality education to actually better understand the problem that I'm trying to solve and help more people that are in situations like me to create better opportunities um, for them. So I think it's, it's very big, the financial support. And beyond the financial support, it's the mentoring, it's the global support to grow as a leader through the benefits that are offered by rise and it's just to have a, a once in a lifetime experience an experience that you know you won't easily come by and it's to make the most out of all the benefits to work towards that goal of helping more people from disadvantaged communities get access to um better opportunities I think you're a mute as well. Yeah, I, I also, I, I, I was wondering if it's just me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> can you hear me now? Yes, yes, yes. Now? Can you hear you? Can you? Okay, yeah. no, sorry, sorry about that. I think I might have praised my mistake. So I was just saying that, you know, it's profound that you mentioned that education, you know, is important to you. And I think, um, you know, I really believe that education is the foundation to success, you know, and you need to get a solid academic achievement behind your name, you know, for you to propel, you know, into bigger opportunities. So even for myself, you know, I was a sportsman and I even went back to school, you know, I just achieved my postgrad, I'm trying to do my MBA. So I just believe in the power of education and thank you, Elonga. So I really, and I resonate so much with you. And a lot of people, young people need to know that, you know, at an early stage. So well done for that. And then I, w I want to ask you a last question, I, uh, Michael. And, you know, if you've got any advice for other young people out there who are considering to, to applying to, to RISE, you know, what would you say? Okay, um, so first I want to congratulate you on um, your achievements. So very well done, Beast. <laughs> um, and uh, if there's any advice that I could give to anyone is that just do something that you absolutely love and something that you know that you will push through because I can say like getting that your challenge done with the deadline and really takes that extra push. And then it's also being intimidated by a lot of other projects. So it's just to be focused on what you are doing and do something that you're really passionate about because you're going to be doing the right challenge over a couple of months and you can lose motivation. So make sure that whatever project you're doing, whatever problem you're trying to solve, it's a problem that you really, really deep down you really want to solve and it's something that you will put your all in that you'll find the time to do so don't do something because you think it's extravagant or don't do something that you think is going to compare to the next person do something that you absolutely love and that you absolutely really want to uh, change you really want to seem wrong if you just go on that part uh, i think uh, there's so much power in that you know follow your passion you know because when you do something that gets you going, you know, um, every morning. That gets you up, you know, that gives you energy. You know, that's when you're successful at it. So I think, uh, yeah, you know, what's your words there? Um, I think, you know, they're quite powerful and you're going to learn a lot from that. So, you know, when you do that, when you follow your passions, you've got just a higher chance of success. So, yeah, no, thank you so much, Michael. I appreciate, you know, you coming onto this platform, you sharing your tips about what you experienced and what, where you're currently at. And I wish you luck in your future, man. And I, I think one of the things I want to reiterate um, is, you know, for, for all the other young people that um, are watching this, you know, remember to go to the website, www.risefortheworld.org forward slash NBA, and also go to these Instagram pages at NBA Africa underscore Africa and uh, at Rise for the World. And you'll be able to get all the information you need to apply because you don't want to miss out on a life-changing opportunity. You know, and a lot of young people, especially on the African continent, they yearn for an opportunity. So here's a big opportunity. Jump onto it and, you know, change your lives. So thank you, buddy. I appreciate you coming on. And, uh, yeah, you know, I wish you a blessed Christmas. And, uh, yeah, have a great time with your family. No, thanks, thanks. Thank you for having me.
No, um, I'm, I'm enjoying chatting to these young people. You know, it's like the energy and, you know, it's just rubbing on to me, you know. Uh, I think it reminds me uh, of when I was that young kid, when I wanted to be successful, you know, when I had a dream. And, um, you know, it's so important, you know, that seed, you know, and having an opportunity is something that I was, you know, yearning for. And you... You guys, as Rise and NBA Africa, have given, afforded that opportunity to other young people. So, you know, I really salute you, and I, yeah, I'm inspired by your work, Emilio. Thank you, and really, and thank you to NBA Africa to speak to your audiences and spread the word about Rise. So, if I can just summarize very quickly, please go to www.rise.fortheworld.org forward slash NBA to sign up and start your application. Please complete stage one by 14th January. You cannot proceed unless you complete stage one. Um, and we ask that you follow us on, on Instagram, um, sign up for our newsletter on our website. And the last thing is spread the word. As Beast has said, this is an amazing opportunity for everyone who's eligible. And so please tell as many people as possible. And we look forward to seeing you on the Rise Challenge. No, thank you, Mulongo. Uh, yeah, I think I think everybody has got the message, and I think there's been a you know a lot of a lot of insights, uh, a lot of knowledge from this you know Insta Live, and you know, I myself now I know exactly what the Rise Challenge is all about, what Rise is all about, and what this collaboration and partnership is all about. So I'm really grateful for your time. And I know you you know you're in London, and uh, you know you've uh, obviously kind of come onto this platform and just, you know, to educate young people and everybody out there, you know, about this amazing opportunity. So um, now thank you. And also Audrey and Michael, I know they've left, but uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to many young people's lives getting changed and seeing the success that this will bring to the next generation. So thank you so much. I uh, wish you an amazing uh, festive season. Uh, with your family and uh yeah have a great evening and see you soon thank you too and all the best to you happy holidays and thank you to everybody who took time to come and listen to us today we really appreciate it there yeah, we do now thank you Mulongo. take thank care you. now bye 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 everyone thank you